the Renewables Infrastructure Group has acquired an onshore wind farm in the UK, Solway Bank, located in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland, it announced on Monday. It said Solway Bank was currently in the early stages of construction and was expected to become operational in the first quarter of 2020. The FTSE 250 firm said that, once complete, Solway Bank would comprise 15 Senvian MM100 wind turbines, each with a rated capacity of 2.0 MW, amounting to 30 MW. Solway Bank would be, one of few, onshore wind farms in the UK to benefit from what Trig called the, attractive, contract for difference tariff, CFD, which would fix power price during the first 15 years of operations. It said Solway Bank had an allocated strike price of £82.50 per megawatt hour in 2012 prices, equivalent to £91.14 in current prices. The project was acquired from Trig's operations manager, Res, pursuant to Trig's right of first offer agreement. Trig said total consideration for the project was expected to be around £82 million, including construction costs. Of that £39 million was invested in acquisition, partly funded through a drydown of the group's revolving acquisition facility which now stood at £134 million drawn. The project did not have any third-party project-level debt. Following the acquisition, Trig's construction exposure was 12% of its portfolio value, measured on a fully invested basis. By year-end, the board said that exposure was expected to reduce to around 7%. Solway Bank is an important addition for the Trig portfolio, being its first CFD wind farm in the UK, said Richard Crawford, Director of Infrastructure at Trig's Investment Manager and for Red Capital Partners. Together with the two French wind farms acquired last week, Solway Bank enhances the company's revenue visibility as part of a balanced portfolio. The wind farm is being constructed by Res who have an impressive track record in developing and building renewable energy assets. Trig said its investment manager was evaluating a strong pipeline of investment opportunities for the company in wind and solar assets in the UK, Ireland, France and Scandinavia.